and here we're, we're here with um, Ancient Wonders Travel Agency. We're here to present to you a package for visiting Greece. So first we're going to show you what we would do. It's a 10-day excursion. Um, so we're going to show you what we would do on each day, just a little brief overview. So on day one, we would go to, um, we would go fly from DIA to Athens International Airport, and we would be staying at the Athenaeum Intercontinental Hotel, which has spacious rooms, it's contemporary, and very well decorated. Um, we would have a traditional lunch in Athens, and then just relax for the rest of the day. Um, on day two, we're going to be visiting the Panathenaic Stadium, so there you can just take pictures and relax all day and explore. Um, and then you would bring a sack lunch to eat, and um, we would head back to Athens for dinner, and you can explore Athens all that night. Um, on day three, we're going to pack up and head to Delphi. So we're going to stay at the, Del Del the Delphi Art Hotel, um, and then in the afternoon, we're going to visit the Del Delphi um, Archaeological Museum, um, and then we're going to have dinner that night at Taverna to Patro Patrakovas, uh dinner there. And then on day four, um, it's a day full of relaxation and we're going to go to the beautiful Igali Beach and um, just hang out at the beach all day. So you can pack a lunch for that too or you can um, eat some traditional food at the town nearby. Um, so day five is another day of relaxation in Delphi. Um, we're going to go shopping and just explore the whole day and just spend the day relaxing in Delphi. Um, that night we're going to take a night flight to Petros and that's where we'll be on day six. So starting on day six, we will go to Quatras Mark Hotel and we will rest all afternoon. We will eat somewhere for some traditional food and we will go cruise Ponte Rio and Tyra Bridge. On day seven, we will go for some wine tasting. This will be and Ankaya Claus Winery. We will enjoy wine basically all day, and then at night we'll just head back to the hotel and have some traditional food as well. <coughs> day eight, we will fly to Corinth, and there we will visit um, Consortico Calori Hotel in Corinth, and we will just learn some history, take some pictures of archaeology, Day nine, sorry. Day nine, we just say bye bye to Corinth and we head back to Athens. We'll cruise around the city, take some pictures of everything that you like, whatever you find most interesting, we'll visit. And day ten, we'll just head back to the IA. to travel to Greece. How thrilling. You're signing up for one of the most interesting trips of your life. But in order to fully enjoy your experience, you need to follow a few tips. Some are essential and some are just strongly recommended. So the sooner you start to plan, the better. With our essentials items checklist as your guide, you can sit back and concentrate on what's really on your mind, the world you're about to meet. And for reference of locations, there's some maps. The, um, can we scroll down more? This map here is from Athens to Delphi. Along the way, you'll see some of Greece's mountains. And um, Parnassus is along that route also. And this map here in the middle is from Delphi to Petras. And you travel along the north, northern side of the Gulf of Corinth. Some nice views there. Uh, on day eight, it's from Petras to Corinth. That is the top map, top map. And you travel along the southern portion of the Gulf of Corinth. And from Corinth to Athens, it's one half is the last remaining bit of the Gulf of Corinth. And also the Gulf of Sparamic is visible too. <coughs>
Choose Greece and thank you for your time. 